This, uh, these readings come to me personally at a really interesting time. They're both referring to what I would call the two steps forward, one step back of the kingdom of God. That is to say that we humans are making progress in the ways of God and the ways of love. We're doing pretty well, but we also sometimes don't do so well. And it's really hard to notice that the hand of God is with us. So in Hebrews, where it talks about how the folks who have been uh, struggling, you know, that life can be very hard for you, and I understand that. Uh, but God is with you all the way. You're doing better and better. And in our gospel, that sense of the kingdom springing up in a way that the farmer has no idea just how it happens, it just does. It's just little imperceptible ways. So for me today, uh, why it's interesting is I started just this morning uh, looking at my old journals, diaries that I've kept over the years. And I, I do this to get some glean from it, some fresh ideas, something new, and I circle. I do this now and then, and so basically I'm looking at all the circled things over the years that I've said, oh, this is a good insight, this is a good insight. And some of them are still good insights, and some of them are like, why did I circle that? That doesn't seem to be all that interesting. Um, it's also, you know, for me, uh, I'm doing this because I'm going to be destroying these books because there's things in there I don't want you to read about someday. You know, when they try to canonize me as a saint, I don't think that this will go in my favor. So I'm going to get rid of those things. Um, so, but it's very interesting because when I look at that, I go, oh my goodness, there's that same issue. You still are dealing with that, Rick. And I think, oh, I haven't really advanced. But I have. I've gotten better in... Uh, kind of listening to God and walking with God, trusting in God. But maybe you're like me, you know, if you look back, you say, oh, here we are again. Here we are again. Doesn't seem like I've grown spiritually or in any way, but we have. The image I like to use for that is a, a downward spiral, not upward, like you think, oh, we got to go up, you know, we got to get better, go higher. I kind of like the idea of integration, of becoming uh, one like a funnel. And me, my image is, you know, if you ever go to some museums of science, like in Boston, we have this wonderful museum, and it has this gigantic looking funnel. It's very gradual, very slow, and they have a marble, a big silver marble that they put into it, and they somehow, I think the machine just sends it out, and it goes around and around. And it eventually, after about two or three hours, that's how amazing this funnel is. It takes a long time. The marble seems to come right back to where it started, right? But it's not. It's a little deeper. And in time, it's going to get into that area where it's going to be like really right there. And that's the image I like to use about the spiritual growth, about the downward spiral. We become more integrated as we get older. It seems like we're back to the same spot, but we're not. We're getting a little bit closer and closer to what is our common humanity, our common humility, our common divinity, which is all one. So let's pray for that grace today as we hear these readings, that the mystery of God's working with us, and we don't know it, we don't realize it, but when we keep cooperating, we keep watering the seed, watering the plant, you know, giving it sun in time, we're definitely growing in the ways of God.